what do I do to protect integrity and to protect the welfare of, of the young people that I work with? You need to first be very clear about those values um, and make sure that those values are, they go well are compatible with the idea of developing young people. Um, and, and once you uh, know what those, what those values are, um, uh, you have to be able to make sure that all your, all your actions comply or respond to, to those values, that there is a clear support system uh, that coaches, players and parents can use, um, that uh, there is a clear reporting mechanism when someone uh, is concerned about something. And we also are always in contact with our national governing body. I've, I've sort of done a bit of background with with uh, this in nutrition as well, trying to make sure that they are improving off their own back as much as possible. So. What I mean is, you see a lot of players and tennis players who rely on rely on their coach, rely on their parent, rely on um, whoever it is to keep telling them what to do, how to do it, fairly, you know, which can't come back to them in the future, I guess. When it comes to specifically the aspects of risk or where an athlete might find that they're in danger of, um, I guess, doing something within the setup, is our role is mostly around supplementation and risk minimization around um, anti-doping violations. So just making sure that we have a very uh, good understanding of exactly where our supplements come from, how we're using them, who has access to them. Um, I think the, the next level of that is also how the dosages are done in terms of making sure that athletes also are aware of how much they're taking, what that they know what they're taking. As a dad, as a young dad as well, it's just about being kind. Respect people, you know. My, my, my own personal values are kindness, respect, and clean up after yourself. And that's what I install in my boys and in my players. So if I see anyone not being kind to each other, then I sort of give them a nudge and say, hey, hey, do you think that you know your mum would be proud of that? When working with athletes, and especially young and developing athletes, for me, an important part is, is around trying to adopt a holistic focus to their development. So we're striving for, for the development of, of elite performance, but also recognising that these are, these are young developing people. So we're trying to support uh, those young people to develop a broader understanding of themselves, so an identity that isn't just exclusively as an athlete but is a, is a broader person. They have interests outside of sport and therefore are hopefully not compelled to engage in behaviours that would be detrimental to their, their sporting performance or, or the integrity of the sport that they compete in.